Hey up, this is day two of AWOL. Uh, I've done another 16 and a half mile under belt and I know I felt it. It really hot. I was sweating like you wouldn't believe. Well, apparently I wasn't sweating. Uh, I was perspiring. But where I come from, lasses sweat. And I tell you, I was sweating. I'm still sweating now. It's running off me. It's bloody humid. It's a different kind of carry on uh, to what I'm used to. And so the feet are a bit sore because they've been slipping around and my bandages won't stay on. But anyway, we sorted and we'll have a not bath in a minute. I went, told you yesterday, I met the old man who were on the beach at Dunkirk and I couldn't stop thinking about him. So I went back to see if he was in the same spot and he was. Uh, but we were in a completely different mood. He was a bit down, 75 years since uh, D-Day and I think he were, he were remembering it. And then he, he were lovely, he were chatting, you know, but he didn't, he want, didn't want interviewing and stuff. You know, he's 96 years old, I'm not going to force a lad to have an interview, he didn't want a bloody interview. So I just had a bit of a chat with him and then uh, I went on my way. But then I did meet a geezer who wanted a chat. Uh, and he were right enough bloke. He'd done 32 years in Merchant Marines and he's on a bit of a mission himself. He's trying to get the Merchant Marines recognised because they're not recognised like the rest of the forces. But they really, we did need them lads. They were there with the supplies and they were risking as well, you know. So um, he has petitions to sign. I'll let you know about that later on. Maybe we could get his name at summit and help him on his cause. Uh, I did a bit of an interview with him. And so that were good. I had that on record. And then I went a bit further and I met a lovely young lad and he was driving on the train track. I had to wait for him. He was in a truck, like a Ford truck, and it had truck wheels, but then it also had wheels, train wheels. So I'm looking at then he's looking at me and I'm looking... He goes, have you not seen? I said, I haven't seen all like it in my life. I don't know what the heck it is. Is it a train truck or a truck train? And he's saying, oh, no, this is, you know, we're doing maintenance on the uh, the line, so we drive along on this. And I had a good old chat with him. And when I left him, I thought, oh, you should have got him on video. You should have interviewed him. So I come up with the idea of doing, like, an audio AWOL, which I'll put separate to this, and it'll be a little couple of minute interviews with people I'm meeting. So you can meet them and enjoy them too. I'm meeting some great people. I met loads of vets today with D-Day and I was proud to shake their hand and they were pleased I were pleased uh, to shake their hand and thank them for what they've done I mean we're forever indebted to all these blokes and the women that served in both bloody wars you know so but that my grand and then I um, I came to this forest where I walked straight through the forest uh, for about 10 mile one of the roads while we did I did 16 and a half tall but 10 mile was straight through this forest which is absolutely beautiful the noise from the birds and that were deafening you know it really was nice uh, except for I did notice a lot of bloody rubbish garbage you know everybody so think on uh, don't be throwing fag packets out of the window beer bottles out of your car I mean they had to come out of cars you couldn't have carried them in so think on with littering and uh, let's try not to make a bloody mess. Um, it's a bit upsetting, really. But anyway, it was beautiful regardless. So I came out of there, and uh, I'm ready now to get myself in a nice hot bath. And tomorrow, I'm going to have a couple of days off. I have two days off. So that'll do the feet good and give them a chance to get sorted. I'm going to uh, have a bath, going to sort of look at them and see what's going on. I've got that mole skin stuff. I've got some thinner socks. My mate who uh, lives in Spain, Kath, she said, get some thin socks on. Uh, and more skin and I did and it, it has helped and I will now two days off I'm going to get myself up the uh, Washington Monument apparently that's a bit of a trek up and down that so I'm going to do that uh, so I'll still be active and I'll still be posting so I'll let you know what happens tomorrow and the day after before I get back to hiking again all right I'm going to go and have a nice hot bath something to eat it'll be early night on oh, a pint of Guinness all right thanks all for tuning in and if you can think of a good name for the audio a wall Put it down. I could do with some suggestions and I'll post that little man, Joseph, who were on the beach at Dunkirk. I'll put him on first. All right, thanks again for your likes and all your comments. It really is nice to hear that and thank you very much. All right, see you tomorrow, day three.